hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to solve a problem on our android phone and the problem is something like this i need an application that is not available on google play store or maybe i cannot install that particular application from google play store so i have downloaded apk file of that application and now i just need to tap on it and i just can install it normally i could install it but as you can see my phone is not allowing me to install it i've tried multiple time i have tried many option i have changed many setting it uh, it is not about the unknown source permission you know i have already uh, gave that permission but i cannot install it anyway and this kind of problem happens because of uh, our phone security uh, maybe because of secure frp or something like that and that occurs in most of the ami phone or poco phone or uh, may occur in any other uh, manufacturer phone but anyway the problem is problem so how to solve it so to solve this problem you need an windows laptop or desktop but if you do not have any windows laptop or desktop then you can use another phone and use adb master application or tool but that is a little bit different and little bit difficult for me but it is also easy but uh maybe i'll show that in another video but anyway if you have windows laptop or desktop then just watch this video it will be very easy to solve this problem so to install any application in your mobile phone from your pc you need two number things. one is the apk file of the application which you want to install on your phone you can download it from any website of which you can trust just download it and then download another uh, file another folder and that is called android platform tool so this is the folder you need to install uh, you do not need to install anything you just have to download it uh, i'll provide this and i'll provide the link of this file in the description of this video or maybe in the first comment of this video you can just click on that link and download this android platform tool so first of all just download the android platform tool and extract it and then open the folder again open the second folder inside of it and now just copy the apk file and paste it here all right and after pasting it just rename it and give it a simple name that you can easily remember or just a simple and short and easy name and then just close it now come to your phone and change some set and after that come back to your phone and change some settings it is very common thing that you need to do before you can do anything from your laptop to your phone and that is turning on the developer option and turning on the usb debugging option so to turn on the developer option just uh, go to your settings and search for about phone and open the about phone and search for something like this or maybe model number all right just click on that for five to six time and it will show that you are an developer now so anyway this may be different in your phone but search something like model name or something but anyway if you have any problem finding this just uh, go to the about section on your phone and tap frequently on something and you'll see that uh, it will say that you are just uh, three step away or four step away to be a developer and uh, but if that is also not helping then just comment the model name model name of your phone in the comment section I'll so when it will so. say that you are a developer now then come back to the home section in your setting or just close and open your setting again and search for developer option and open the developer option it will be automatically turned on but if it is not then just turn it on manually and scroll down and search for this option usb debugging just turn it on and then again search for this oeme unlock and just turn it on you just need to turn those two option more and now you are all set to go now you just need to connect your phone with your laptop via usb cable just connect your phone and now come back to your laptop open the uh, extracted folder the platform folder platform tool folder 
and again open the second folder and now here just right click on the black blank section and here you can see i have open with terminal option but you might have any other option like open with cmd or open with powershell or something just uh, uh, click on that whatever you have among those three option open with terminal or open with cmd or open with powershell and then you'll have this command section one now you need to run two simple command here and the first command is dot forward slash adb devices and hit on enter uh, i'm sorry actually i forgot to connect the usb uh, to my laptop now now my phone is connected now let's run that command again dot forward slash adb devices and hit on enter and here it is when you'll see uh, this is uh, when you'll see the device that means everything is fine but if you cannot see this then something went wrong right so just check back everything and so after again, that the second that command, command is dot forward slash adb then install and type the exact name which you give for your apk file all right so here it is my apk is kindmaster old dot apk so just uh, type that exact name kindmaster old dot apk and hit on enter and it will take a moment and you'll see that it is successful so that's it the installation is successful so that's how you can install any apk file from your laptop to your desktop if you cannot do it normally all right so actually that is a good thing but it is also bad thing <laughs> so anyway uh, if you have that kind of problem then you can solve this in this way so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video then please click on the like button and please stay connected by subscribing subs <laughs> subscribing this channel thank you for watching this video see you in the next video